to Josh and Babe. And welcome back to Josh, the cooking cop. Oh, wait, no, welcome back to the cooking cop and Babe. And welcome back to Josh and Bethany. And welcome back to We Don't Know What We're Doing. We're still waiting for somebody to give us some advice. Tell us what you like. So far, what I've seen, everyone likes Josh and Babe. But Babe, this is a very special day. We need to wear sunglasses inside because our future is so bright. Do you know why, Babe? There, today is, there's a lot, a lot of breaking news announcements right now. Okay, you clicked on the thumbnail. You saw what we were gonna be making. We're gonna be making a $120 T-bone Florentine three pound USDA prime, but then it was dry aged for an additional 45 days steak. Literally, put this website up on the screen right now. $120 for this steak. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Second bit of information. We are going to be pairing this monster steak with our favorite wine company, Thin Vine Wine. Yeah. And the owners of Thin Vine Wine, they said literally our best wine, it is badass. If you're gonna pair a $120 steak with anything, you're gonna be doing it with our Thin Green Vine, which is an old Zin, mm -hmm. right? Old Vine Zin. Old Vine Zin, which yep. is, happens to be Babe's, one of Babe's favorites, because Babe is a red. wine snob. Yes, I am. So that wine, we're gonna be, we've never tried that wine before, but if you go to www.thinvine.wine and you use code COOKINGCOP, there's no code for you, Babe. No code for me. Cooking Cop. Yet. You guys get a fat discount and it's really, really great company. Thin Vine Wines, first responders, they get back to first responders, military, stuff like that. So check them out. Okay, last bit of announcement. Babe just dropped another new piece of merch. Check this out. And this is kind of like an old school soft drink, Babe's favorite soft drink, sold in the United States, especially in Southern California. So check out our merch store, link below, and look at some of these designs. This one, this one, and this one. They're all babes designs. It's party time. All right, here we go. Okay, this is how the steak arrived. There we go right here. It's the Florentine steak. It's 48 ounces of USDA Prime, but then it's also been dry aged, nice shadow, dry aged for 45 days. Look at this. Look at the thickness of this. Wait, I can't wait to cut this open. This thing is a freaking monster. As you guys can see, that is a beast of a $120 steak. Okay, so to be honest with you guys, this is not something that we've ever had before, and this is not something even the, in the realm of something that I would look at. And so we've done a lot of research on it. Traditionally, that the way that they cook this is with a very basic ingredient, some salt, maybe a tiny bit of pepper. This is obviously the Italian way of cooking it. You're gonna sear it, you're gonna put it on this bone right here, and then you're gonna let that bone heat up and it'll cook through it and you serve it rare, okay? That's the way it's traditionally done, Tuscany and, and stuff like that. We're gonna put our own spin on it. And this is what I'm thinking the way that I'm gonna cook this monster of a steak. I'm gonna trim a tiny bit off here. I'm gonna trim a tiny, tiny bit off here. But overall, the way that this came shipped to us is really, really nice. And you can see the dry aging. Like I said, it was dry aged for 45 days. It arrived yesterday afternoon, frozen. And now I left it in the refrigerator for about 14 hours. And now we're gonna let it continue to, uh, to defrost it. It's not frozen anymore. And what we're gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna do a little bit of trimming, and then we're going to use a brand new rub that we got from Rick's Barbecue and Specialty. He's out of Texas, the Texas Trinity rub. His rub is a very basic rub. It smells fantastic, it tastes fantastic. It's salt, pepper, garlic, and a little baby bit of onion powder. That's it. Four simple ingredients. We're doing it our own style on this one. We're gonna bring it outside on the Weber kettle, and we're going to reverse sear it. Okay, so we're done trimming. Just took off a couple little pieces like this. A little bit of the brown from the dry aging. Not that much fat that I took off because a lot of this fat's gonna render down when I sear it. And like I said, I'll pull it around 118 and then I'm gonna sear it and that fat's gonna make a nice flame, flame kiss, babe. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be using the Galindo's Texas Trinity Rub. Very, very basic. Salt, pepper, garlic, little baby bit of onion. Nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. And this is more of a coarse rub and I'm not putting any binder or anything like that. And we're gonna leave this on a wire rack in the fridge for, I don't know, a little bit. So we're letting it sit. Josh has it all seasoned up. Uh, two or three hours, we'll probably put it on. We're leaving it uncovered in the fridge. 
So just letting it hang out there and it'll be awesome. Right, babe? Yeah, baby. It's time for wine. So this steak is like a delicate, very fancy Italian, very expensive Italian restaurant style, you know, Florentina. Meanwhile, we're just treating it like good old Texas barbecue with a great Texas barbecue uh, rub. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Baby. And a fantastic wine. Yeah, so let's see Which the label Italian, at the bottom. Right? I mean, old Zen. Old Zen like. Zen. Yeah. And this is for uh, military. So yeah, read the back, babe. Read the back, what read does it back. say? It says, raise a glass with us to the brave men and women who have served in the military. By purchasing this bold and jammy old Vine Zen, you'll help support our nation's heroes and their families with a portion of the proceeds from every bottle sold Donated to a veteran-driven nonprofit. Cheers to that. It's a 2018. It's a 2018 old vine zin. These are. Um, it, this one is bottled at Miramont Estate Vineyards in Linden for thin vine wines. Give, give, it, a give little, it a little pour in my trusty glass. I they, I love these glasses that they sent. Babe, you gotta save some for the steak too. Oh, so I can't put half the bottle in my glass right now? No. I'm just kidding. No, babe. No. All right. It's actually a little lighter than the one yesterday. Is it? Yeah. I really like it. I love an old vine zin. That's really good. Is that going to pair good with that steak, do you think? With the salt, pepper, garlic? Mm -hmm. The dry aged? Yeah. It does have a little sweetness to it. I like that. A jammy. Bold and jammy. That's what I get. It's really good, thank you. All right, babe, let's fire up the Weber kettle. Okay. We're letting it rest on the sink for a couple minutes where it comes up to temperature. Got the probe inserted in the fattiest, meatiest, awesomest part. That rub smells amazing. This steak is just, it's gonna be great. We got the Weber set with about a pencil width open at the bottom and a little bit open at the top here. We're gonna set this up for about 250, 275 and we're not even using any wood. This is just charcoal on a beautiful, there's our pit barrel cooker, love them. Beautiful Southern California day, look at this. You're on video, you're good? Yep. Editor's gonna edit. Editor's gonna be like, dab on the haters. <laughs> okay, man, you see the meat. I see the The temperature meat. is in there. Everybody's like, Josh, you're an idiot. No. Okay, all right. You're doing good, babe. We're just gonna set this there. This is for the, Great temperature overall, meat temperature, okay. We're gonna place, obviously, if you guys have a Weber kettle, <clears throat> and if you don't, you should get one. Hold on, let's move this. Link below? No, yeah, there is a link below actually, babe. Okay, we got our temperature great. We have our meat, and then we're gonna put the vent indirect off the coals, and yeah, babe. There we go. Babe, it just treats, <clears throat> There's somebody in the, hold on, we got, <laughs> hold on, babe. babe, it just reached 90 degrees internal. Let's flip it to promote some even cooking. Okay, hold on, how does it look? Oh, babe, that smells no, babe, so that? good. Babe, that's deliciousness. But mind the temperature, I, mean, I can't bro. even get the, can't even oh yeah, babe. That's a bit. That's a beefcake. Woo! Look at that thing. Oh, it's so good. Is that a good spot. Yeah, it's 90 degrees internal. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Babe, this smells different than our normal steaks do on the Weber. Babe, it's so good. Yeah. Look at it. Oh. Okay, babe. Put it. Put it right over the. Yeah. Okay. So now that it reached. It reached 120, babe. Yeah. Okay, so now you wanna heat up that bone and the bone is gonna transfer the heat all the way up okay. into the goodness. Oh yeah, babe. Okay, you just wanna get a little bit of crust all over it. And you guys, don't be scared that that's black. That's the bone. It's the bone, you, we were just heating the bone. Oh yeah, babe, it's gonna be, it's gonna be epic. Okay, what do you think, babe? I'm 
I don't know, I'm scared. It looks so good. It smells good. It's definitely, it smells different than any other steak we've made. Yeah. I can tell you that. But it's delicious. Well, yeah, I hope it's delicious. It's pricey. Look at this board. This board's incredible. Rustic Designs by Rich. Thank you very oh. much. We won oh, that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Giveaway. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. no, turn the bottle of wine around. There we go. Oh, oh there we go. Boy, babe, we have a bunch of, like, winnings tonight. I know. We're so good. We're good uh, Oh babe, there's so much meat left on this bone right here. Okay, babe. The steak is overcooked. What? <laughs> that that's rude. Well, it's true. It's about medium well. Well, now you cooked it to temperature of what it should have been to be at medium rare. However, maybe because of the kind of steak it is, it cooks different and you have to cook it at different temperatures. That's not true. Mm -hmm. But it's overcooked. Still delicious though. You told me not to cook it at rare. I asked for it medium rare. This is not medium rare. This is well done. Babe, you still did a good, I mean, the flavor is still fantastic. Salt, pepper, garlic from Rick's barbecue. It's still very good. Here, let me put it in your mouth and tell me how good it is still. It's great. Yeah? That's a well done piece. It's delicious. It's yeah. not well done. See, it's well done, but it's still very yummy. But it's not well done. Babe, that's well done. So it definitely has a different flavor to it. It's not well done, babe. No? No, it's delicious. How's the wine? Really Can we talk about the wine? This is my favorite so far. Oh, now this is your favorite. The last video, you were like, that's my favorite. Now well, the they just keep getting better. Okay, babe. I'll so grab the bottle. So get on to Thin Vine Wine. Thin this vine, is babe's favorite now. Thinvine.wine. And get yourself some wine. Use code babe. No, don't use code babe. Use code babe. Use code cooking see, cop. This is still just melting apart. Babe, you did good. Your first time cooking a fancy steak like this. Babe, I'm super mad at you because there are going to be so many comments like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's okay. That's okay. Babe, I love you. I don't care. If this was black, I got to eat it with you. That's all I care about. We're together. And Thin Vine Wine. In love. And Thin Vine Wine loves me. I have a code. <laughs> it's called Babe. <laughs> Use it. Get a discount. You get 10 bucks off of two bottles or more. Use that because we are in competition, okay? Babe, Me no, and Josh. Nobody's going to use your code. I love you and I love this $120 overcooked steak. It's not overcooked. That's ridiculous. Babe. What? That steak is not overcooked. <laughs> you are wrong. Oh, okay. You are a liar. Yeah. And you were trying to put a case on me. Oh, am I? I'm just gonna okay. take a picture of that and I'm just gonna do like a little, I'm gonna do a comparison to your Instagram okay. where you ask but everybody, listen, what, what would you like? <clears throat> it's medium. The steak should have been cooked rare. I tried to do that. I was held down. I'm like a stallion trying to be held down in a field. I just want to spread my stallion wings. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Wow, babe. Wow. The steak was good. The wine was amazing. Your merch is good. <laughs> babe, I'm, you I'm have, going to bed. Babe, some of the designs are yours too. That's it. No, babe. No. I love thin vine wines. You've had some Jesus juice. Babe, that steak was not burned. Babe, you, that steak was. You are trying to put a case on me. And with that, I bid you farewell.